guys, it's Ralph and welcome back to Inside Jungle Channel. Today is another episode of indoor gardening because we are stuck inside because of all the socialization. So I have for you a special episode. Why it's special? Because I'm propagating for the first time Peperomia opusifolia. Now, this is my Peperomia cuttings. These are my Peperomia cuttings. I have quite a few. And I, I love this plant. It's very glossy, it has very glossy leaves and it grows quite tall, approximately up to 15 centimeters in height. Now, before all this madness with the virus started, just the week before we went to our homes and started working exclusively from home, I took a larger cutting from the Peperomia opusifolia that I have in my office, close to my desk. And I said, I'm going to try to propagate it because I lost the one that I had at home. Why I lost it? I lost it because spider mites. And for the very first time, I had spider mites at home. And I'm telling you, it, it's not fun. So I lost the one at home and I took this larger branch from the plant in the office and I brought it home. Once I brought it home, I cut it. And here are the results. Now I'm going to close up so you can see actually what I'm doing. We are going to take care of these cuttings and we are going to plant them in soil. In a moment I'm going to show you exactly what type of soil I'm using as well. So today's episode is about Peperomia opusifolia, also known under the name of baby rubber plant. Sometimes you can encounter it under the name of American rubber plant because it is native to Central America and to areas from Caribbean islands and also in Florida. If we think about the region where this plant is native uh, is, we can figure it out with requirements. So basically, Peperomia likes humidity, but from experience, I can tell you that it tolerates the normal indoor conditions, including the normal humidity conditions. Even more so, I have good news. It will tolerate even drier conditions than in our homes. It will tolerate office conditions. As we know, in the offices, most of the time, the air conditioning is even stronger than our homes. So this plant successfully survived the winter, the autumn and winter in, uh, in our office. So it survived periods of extreme heat and colder nights. So I'm very, very proud to tell you that this is an easy to grow plant. If you do not know if you have a green thumb or not, if you're looking to start your gardening hobby and you don't know uh, what plants are suitable for easy care, I totally recommend this beauty called Peperomia opusifolia. Now this little guy over here, this is also placed in the pot to take some roots and we are not going to speak about this guy because I have a separate video, I'm going to link it in the end screen. This is a Japanese spindle or evergreen and I think it has some roots as well. Now, as you can see, I improvised these pots and I made them a proper medium for rooting this plant. I'm going to mess a little bit with my workspace, but it's not the first time I'm doing it, so you guys know that I cannot be extremely. Look at this beauty, look at this root system very very beautiful root system but in order for me to take this plant out without damaging i will have to cut the leaves of my pot i'm using a small scissor and gently tap out the plant okay so one is out so as i told you earlier when i took this branch from the plant that I have in the office, it was longer one and it encompassed all this, all these leaves. But as you can see, the stem, the actual stem, it's quite small and still it was sufficient to root this plant. More than that, if you want to propagate this plant, I have even better news. It's so easy to propagate it. Not only you need like one centimeter and a half, almost one inch but i don't think it reaches one inch of stem or you can propagate it from a simple leaf so you don't even need a part of stem here it is this little leaf i hope you guys can see not only it gave a beautiful root system but it's also giving 
bring up a little tiny leaf over here it's emerging right right here from the nose and it survived in this pot that already formed algae quite a few weeks ago but still survived now this root system has been formed in a um, time frame of five to six weeks i think this is the sixth week i'm at home so this root have six weeks yeah these are the roots and i'm gonna operate the same thing over here trying not to splash my workspace with water now going back to this plant's requirements as i said although it loves humidity it can tolerate dry condition those in our offices and those in our home in terms of soil it loves to be watered thoroughly but i would suggest you would wait for the soil to dry out completely before you water it again because it's prone to root rot very very easy so don't do that okay i'm gonna try to take the spindle out it has very 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 itty bitty tiny roots i'm gonna keep it more in water i have two more cuttings to release from this pot and i still think i can use this pot again for the same propagation method which is quite cool now in terms of light condition peperomia crucifolia loves bright indirect light now in my home it's been sitting to root in the windowsill and i have eastern facing window so in the morning the plants are getting two to three hours of direct sun but not more than that in the office the plant didn't have any direct sun but only lots bright light it was very close to window lots of bright light but no sun rays and no sunset and no sun exposure and it did very very well okay almost there look at this guys look at here it gave me roots from the very bottom of the stem and also from the nose so if you can afford to take more cuttings so and if you can have one or two nodes on on your stem that would be awesome you give your plant more chances to root in a beautiful way but as i showed you it's not necessary to have a node you can root it from the leaf where is the leaf where is the leaf i lost it here it is here it is see it's very very easy maybe the easiest plant that i ever propagated nothing compared to the jasmine that as you know from my previous videos the madagascar jasmine takes months to root, like literally months okay and now as we have our capture look at it so beautiful we are going to put some pots there okay we are back have prepared a few pots around me of different sizes now you can imagine that i cannot afford to keep at home all this uh, peperomia so i have limited space in the end i will place a few around the house i will place a few on the balcony and i also want to take a few back to the office and i'm hoping for the day that we can all go back to our regular life and get out of this social isolation now until then I'm gonna take care of all these leaves at home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to figure it out how I'm gonna place it. Now, as I said, I have a leaf that was successfully propagated in water, and I'm thinking to give her this pot. I want to see when this leaf will be able to be moved to a larger pot so i'm giving i'm giving her the tiniest pot i could find around my balcony it's a clay pot it's painted not so well but it's painted and it has a coat of stone polish 
Now, this is a trial. As I said, I'm gonna closely monitor this pepperoni at least, see how she's doing, and see in how many weeks or months she will have to be recovered. Now I'm gonna put this one on the side. She is gonna be by herself and then I have a pot that I want to take back to the office with me. This is larger pot as you can see and we can fit here more plants. I promise to tell you about the story. Here I have a mix of feet with just a little little perlite and a little bit of sand. Uh, why I'm not using my regular plant mix with more perlite in it? Because Peperomia likes more humid soil. Not soggy, but humid. And she tolerates dry soil, but not for long. Okay? So this is why I'm gonna add even more feet in the mix. The perlite and the sand ensure, ensure dry, uh, drainage proper drainage and the feet ensures the moist moisture that she needs. Now let's see. I'm gonna put this long stem guy. Okay and then I'm gonna place two more. guys are ready all I need to do is to watch okay so I'm left with one two three four five cuttings and three pots how should I mix and match I think I'm gonna put the bigger leaf like this uh -oh. so That's how I'm going to do it. Now, what I want to tell you is that the root system of this plant is not very wide. Not when it's at this size anyhow. So it's going to take quite a long while for this plant to fill the pot and to be robust. Now, because we are not going to change the pot probably for one year, I estimate that in the next year I will not have to uh, repot this peperomia it needs that instead of replenishing the soil we need to fertilize now peperomias love a little bit of fertilizer but not too much it's not essential she's doing just fine without it but during the summer and during the spring i would fertilize it once a month with a general fertilizer for greenhouse plants so it will not hurt her if you will fertilize her but remember, during the autumn and winter, slow down with your fertilizer. Usually, I like to fertilize once or twice during the colder months, my houseplants, because I want to help them to go through the difficult conditions. You know, it's very hot indoors, uh, the conditions of life are changing. So, Peperomia also was, um, was being fertilized. I took some fertilizer to my, uh, to my work. And she did fine, she enjoyed it. When she passed the winter, as I said, it was fine. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some soil in this, in this pot and we are done propagating and potting this peperomia. In a few months from now, I'm gonna share with you the update and how this, all these pots are doing. Here are my five pots of peperomia opticifolia or baby rubber plants and as you can see they are very very nice bright green in color so I'm very very happy I have five pots that I can share all around the house so guys I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you learned a few things from my experiments with the Bromeo Pistolia now, if you have any questions about how to take care of this very, very cute, glossy plant, please leave your questions in the comments. If you have any experience, nice experience 
agree to this plan also please share them with me below in the comments if you have enjoyed this video please leave a comment below press the thumb, thumbs up button as well as press the subscribe button why it takes time to make this video this education plan videos and it helps me a lot if you would subscribe to this channel it doesn't cost a thing now thank you one more time for watching and i really really hope to see you next time in my next video see you next week bye bye